Absolutely. He said, well then, boy, when the enemy comes in like a flood, that's when the spirit of the Lord lifts up. He said, it was always my fight. I said, well, if it was always your fight then, why in the world did you put Jehoshaphat in it? He said, because I wanted to see if Jehoshaphat was going to respond or react. Because a reaction is what you do when you don't know what the answer is. But a response is what you do when you're confident about your position. And many of you all have been reacting by crying, reacting by murmuring, reacting by falling in the floor. But when trouble comes, you don't need to react. You need to respond like Jehoshaphat did with fasting and prayer y'all looking at me strange touch somebody and tell them it still works I know you want to pull that lever but it still works when stuff gets crazy you got to learn how to turn your plate over when it begins to get difficult you got to hang up the phone put everything on vibrate fall on your face and say father I stretch Jehoshaphat responds rather than reacts. And because he and the people that were connected to him responded, God gives them a word that is quite different than we think. When I first read this, I thought that he was giving them a word on how that they were going to obtain victory. But as I begin to read it now, it's not really giving them a word on obtaining victory as much as it is him giving them directions on where they are supposed to go in order to view their own victory. Y'all missed that song of passion. It, it, it wasn't instructions on how they were to obtain victory. He was just trying to give them directions. He was trying to tell them to go up 110. Y'all ain't talking to me. He was trying to get them directions so that they can get to the right vantage point and viewpoint so they can see their own victory. Because some of y'all don't know what real victory looks like. You thought you knew what victory looks like, but God is saying this time, if you just show up, I'm about to turn it out for you. I'm, I'm about to blow your mind. I'm about to show you some things you ain't never seen before. Some of y'all walking around here now thinking that you had had victory, but you've got victory with scars and blemishes and bruises. But God say this time, all you got to do is show up and you'll blow up because I'm about to do a marvelous thing in your life. <laughs> Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat puts the people in position, but Jehaziel gives them instructions. Prove it to me, Dr. Sam. Verse number 17, he declares, he says, I want you to position yourself. Touch somebody, say position yourself. Then he tells them to stand still. Touch somebody, say stand still. Then he says, and see. Tell your neighbor, open your eyes. In other words, you need to understand what God is trying to do is he's trying to get you to recognize that it's all about, uh, it's all about position and perception. Oh God, y'all ain't catch that. He says, all about your position and your perception. He said, I want you to make sure that you're looking at it in the right position I want you to make sure that you're looking at it from the right angle and not only that but I want you to look at it through the eyes of faith because if you look at it through your fleshly eyes you will see defeat discouragement and dismay every time but when you make a decision I'm not going to walk by what I see but I'm going to walk by what I know and if God said he's going to bring me out it don't make no difference what the devil shows me I'm coming out of this he gives them instructions but this is where I get excited, beloved, because after he gives them instructions, the Bible begins to tell us that they begin to praise God like crazy. They don't praise God like crazy after the battle is over. Now, I know this is cliche, y'all, but the Bible says that they praised him like crazy when they received the word that they were going to be victorious. Uh, see, what I love about these people is that they were not driven by outcome. Mm -hmm. they were driven by a word that it was going to happen and God told me to tell you that that's where he wants you to be see all you really need is one word for your situation oh God I can't get no help some of y'all in here right now waiting on the outcome and God said if I said it I'm trying to wait for you to get there if you get in position you'll see it come to pass because if I said it I'm not a man that I would lie everything in me is it's already done it's already 
done here, he begins to give them instructions. And once... He